Happy Tuesday, friends. We are going to look at our daily geography packet. Now, remember, every question is going to lead you right back to the front map. And so here's our map, and I want to take just a minute to look at all the parts of the map. Here's our compass, Rose. It's only giving you north, but if you wanted to add the south in, can you see that? Got to scoot it up. And remember, <clears throat> west, east, we, not EW, because U is not good. So if you wanted to add that on, you could. Um, here's a little inset map, and this is going to be super important on one of the questions. <clears throat> All right. So this kind of shows you where Alaska is, where the United States is, here's Mexico, here's Canada. It doesn't show you Hawaii, I guess, or maybe that's Hawaii. Is that Hawaii? Anyway, maybe that's Hawaii. But that is the inset map. It tells you where is this located in the bigger picture. So that's important. Um, also note, it's giving you all the borders. So here's the Atlantic Ocean <coughs> on the east side of our country. Here's the Pacific Ocean on the west side. To the north, and you can see by the inset map, the whole northern border of the United States borders Canada. There's no water. Well, I lied. There's this water. But there's no ocean on the northern border of the United States. The southern border is a little more complicated. Because if you look at your inset map, and we know this because we live in Texas, all of this is actually bordering the Gulf of Mexico, right? If you go down to the southern part of our area, to Galveston, you're not looking at the country Mexico. You're looking at water. So this gives you sort of the break off between where there's land, which is the country of Mexico, and where we have water, the Gulf of Mexico. And you can see that on the inset map, where Mexico borders part of the southern border. And water actually borders the other part of our southern border. So make sure you pay attention to that. One of the questions is going to, you're going to need to know that. <clears throat> All right. Up here, we have the Great Lakes. These little five lakes right here. Those are the Great Lakes, and there is a question about that, so make sure you label it if you need to. Those are your Great Lakes. The inset here of Alaska and Hawaii are right here, um, so if you're looking for those, there they are. And your legend is going to be super important. Sometimes we call this a map key, but it tells you, like this, with the squiggly lines, is the Rocky Mountain region, the straight lines are the north central region. If it has no lines, it's the northeast region. If it has dots, it's the southeast region. Smaller dots is the southwest region. And these little sideways dashes is the Pacific region. So you should be able to tell which states are in which area. Now, it asks you a question about Arizona and New Mexico specifically. <clears throat> and I know that we all know our states on the map because everyone made 100 or at least like a 97 on our final test. But in case you've forgotten, remember that New Mexico borders Texas and Arizona borders New Mexico. So there's a question about that. So if you want to label those, you can. Um, but there are other questions that are going to ask you to know which states are in this region. So if you have to look it up, you can. But I know that you know them pretty well. So don't, you know, let that knowledge slip away. Okay, so when you flip over to Monday, how many regions are all states represented? Alaska and Hawaii are part of which region? That should be pretty easy. Now, which regions are named for directional locations? So directional, <clears throat> east, west, north, south, northeast, southwest, middle west, whatever. If it has a direction in it, that's what you're going to want to put there. And then this one asks you which one is named for a major landform. And just remember that landforms 
um, are things like valleys, plains, plateaus, mountains, islands. Basically, they're features, a natural feature God made on the Earth's surface. So there's one of our regions on that map that is named for a landform, not something else. Okay, um, <clears throat> and do not, even though an ocean is a landform, I mean, a, an ocean is um, something made by God. We're not going to call that a landform. So do not put, if it says like the Atlantic region, like it's named after the Atlantic Ocean, that's not it. You're looking for something a little more obvious. Okay, um, what regions border the Atlantic Ocean? Please notice this S. It's more than one region. All right, the Great Lakes, which I pointed out border two regions and two countries. You got this. You can do it. All right, and Thursday, how many states make up the Rocky Mountain region? So count them and then name at least three of those states in your answer. All right, and then there's the question about Arizona and New Mexico. Um, in this map, <coughs> they are, this is almost like how we learned it in our, um, when we were learning our states on the map. We learned these four together as the Southwest region. But the question is sometimes these two could be paired with a different region. And just use your common sense. Like where would they go if they weren't with Texas and Oklahoma? So use your common sense and you'll be fine on that one. And then the last day, Friday, if a region were named the Mexican border region, be careful which states would be included. This is where it's super important to remember which of these, oh, so sideways, which of these are bordering land and which of these are bordering water. So use this map to help you. And then the last question asks you to rank the six regions from the largest to smallest, not based on the land, not, oh, this is the biggest. Like if I look at it, I go, okay, this one's the biggest by land. That's not what it's asking you. It's asking by the number of states. So <clears throat> count the number of states in each one and just rank them from the largest to the smallest. And that's it. If you have any questions about any of those questions, please let me know. But this map is where you will turn to look at everything. This is going to help you with all the questions. So let me know if you need help. You guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.